Hey, Big Ed. So I got some really good advice for all of you today. It doesn't matter whether you're an artist, musician, or in the film business, but that advice is don't just show up. Don't just show up. What do I mean by that? Well, look, we're all talented. That's why we're here, right? But you have to be really specific with people when you're dealing with them in the entertainment business or in any business, I think, really, these days. When I quit doing drugs and alcohol, um, I was going to uh, a, an amazing psychologist that specialized in addiction. And, you know, she really helped me out. But one of the things she had said to me was I was dealing with a friend who had become quite successful in Hollywood. He was aligned with a very big star. And this friend of mine, we go back like 30 plus years. So, you know, I was very excited for his success, but I had a project that I wanted him to consider. And he was, he was interested in it. He was genuinely interested in it, but in typical Hollywood fashion, he was very elusive and it was getting very frustrating. So I said to my psychologist, what do you think about this? And she said, well, you have to lay down a guideline of specifically what you want from him, what you will and won't tolerate and how you want to do business. Otherwise you cannot go forward with him and you do it in such a way that you're not like super confrontational, of course, but you know, you say, look, I'm not going to leave a million messages with you before you get back to me. If you call me and I'm not around, I will get back to you right away, but I expect us to conduct business in a timely and considerate fashion, and I will not be jerked around. My time is as valuable as yours, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that was really helpful advice. You can't just show up. You have to set guidelines. And how does this apply today to me sitting here in this wonderful theater that's about to become a rock club here in Holden, Norway? Well, Norway is, you know, the land of my father's birth, and uh, I'm very attached to it. But so I can be honest and say that they're a little loosey-goosey at times. <laughs> We're loosey-goosey people because they're happy and they like to drink and have a good time. and everything's great. They've got oil. They give it to the people. It's a good plan. It's a good, it's a good structure, but they're a little loosey goosey. So this isn't the first time I've come here and tried to do business on a trip where it's a little tricky to nail people down. Again, this is where the, you can't just show up. You have to draw parameters and guidelines with people up front be specific what you expect from them, what they expect from you, and how you're going to conduct business. Because, okay, so one of the problems is you can't come to Norway on Easter weekend or in July because they're all on vacation. I knew this, but I told everybody I was coming because that's when it was convenient for me and I had to do business. Well, you know, one guy's like, oh, um, I'll be back Sunday. And I'm like, well, but I'm going back back to Oslo on Saturday and I'm leaving altogether on Sunday because I just bought a flat in London and I have to get back. And he's like, oh, well, but I thought you were coming. And I'm like, I am. I've been here for a few days and I was in Oslo for a few days before that. I told you I was coming. And he's like, well, okay, but I have this other thing to do. I should have been more specific. I should have told him, I expect this from you and I expect this from you on in this these parameters, this timeline would have worked better. Furthermore, there's two other people who I was first, I was going to be doing some TV sync placement with. I think they're already using one of my songs, but I wanted to talk to them some more about it. And they both said, come, come, come. They knew when I was coming and yet I'm here and they're not here. They've suddenly gone off to islands with their families because they go on vacation in July. I get it, but I should have possibly, I can't be mad at them. I should have possibly been more specific and say, this is what I want. This is what I need. And here's my timeline. These are the guidelines for the entire situation. And I need you to respect that. And you tell me what you need and what you want. So don't just show up.